Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is my new video. It's a video review of a Fisher uh, Space Pen. This is the Bullet model. Uh, now I know, I know most of my subscribers are like, "Come on, pen, show the knives." <laughs> and you know I'll have more knife videos, but I do like to uh, have a little variety. And uh, this is something I did want to talk about briefly. Um, it's funny because uh, for the most part, I spend most of my time, uh, free time rather. Uh, when I'm indoors, anyway, uh, on the computer, just checking the forums, reading about new knives, stuff like that. But uh, a lot of people who uh, are on the forums, you know, talk about knives. Of course, they have other interests and other hobbies too, you know. And uh, I started off just liking knives, and then eventually started reading people's uh, comments about about different flashlights, you know, and stuff like that. And then then I go over and I check out candle power forums, you know. And then all of a sudden, I'm hooked on flashlights, you know. Uh, and it happens all the time that people collect, uh, you know, a bunch of different things. Uh, some people collect, uh, you know, cigars. Some people collect stamps, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had uh, I had read something, I think, on EDC forums um, about the bullet, and I wanted to check it out for myself. Uh, do I need a pen like this? Absolutely not. Am I a pen guy? Not even close. Uh, they don't interest me whatsoever. But this was a cool, cool little pen that I wanted to try out for myself. Um, this pen, uh, as you can see, it comes in this uh, little container here, which is uh, because it's Fisher's, these space pens. Uh, you have kind of like a galaxy type molded uh, <laughs> uh, piece here. Um, whoop. Be nice if I can uh, open the box, right? Push down on here. Oh, there we go. Alright, there we go. So there's the pen. Uh, it's a cool little pen. It's small for its size. You know, it's got a pocket clip. Um, of course, you just uh, pull it out. Actually, I started unscrewing it. Um, just pull it right out, just like that. Flip it around and pop the cap on the back. And you have your pen. Okay? And you're thinking, you know, what's so special about that? Well, nothing really. <laughs> uh, Fisher Space, the, this pen specifically, uh, has you know you unscrew here. This has a uh, um, pressurized ink cartridge. I'll explain that in just a minute. Uh, of course, these come in different colors. There's, uh, they come in chrome. I got the black one just because you know black. It's it's cool. Uh, but basically, what makes this pen is the uh, the ink cartridge, and it says actually on the ink cartridge where you can get um, refills, and they're five dollars each. Yes, that's correct. These are five dollars each. This whole pen is a uh, twenty dollar pen, um, but you know, for the most part, you can find these for like fifteen bucks. And I think that's what I paid. I paid fifteen dollars at Target, or no, excuse me, not Target. Um, uh, where did I get this? Uh, one of those office stores, Office Max. That's what it was. Um, but anyway, uh, it's a cool pen. Uh, now you're probably asking yourself, all right, well, fifteen dollars, what? What's so cool about that? What do I get for fifteen dollars? Well, some of the features of this pen is that it will write upside down. Yes, you can use this pen in space. <laughs> Am I going to go in space? Never. I can guarantee that I'll never be in space. Uh, and most likely, neither will you. Um, but it does write upside down. It writes underwater. Yeah, it does. It writes underwater. Uh, you would think, well, what kind of paper would you use? They actually make paper that you can write on underwater. Uh, it's expensive paper. Will you write underwater? Probably not. Um, but this pen can do it if you wanted to. Uh, this pen is guaranteed not to, the ink won't dry out for over 100 years. So if you lost this in 100 years from now, well, maybe not 100, maybe 70, 80 years from now, someone finds it, it'll probably work. Um, this will work in extreme heat. This will work in extreme cold. This ink will flow and work uh, below freezing temperatures. Uh, so this might may be good for survival situations if you know you're out in the winter somewhere and you need to jot down some notes or you know God forbid your last will and testament if you think it's getting that bad um, this pen will do it. Uh, what else? Uh, it'll write over fingerprints. Most pens they won't. Uh, it, you know a couple features like that. Do you need that? Absolutely not. No one needs that. Uh, you know maybe unless you're you know some kind of military. Um, uh, you know, personnel, but it's cool, and I am guilty of buying something that just is cool. Uh, it's not something I don't need, uh, but we're all guilty every now and then of buying stuff that 
uh, we don't need. It's just it's cool. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, it's writing, very simple. Uh, this is a medium, medium tip. Uh, you can also get the fine tip. I believe there's a couple different color cartridges you can get for this. Um, but there you go. Works. You know, works fine. So, like I said, you know, I don't, I don't actually have paper. Let me, let me grab. Uh, it's an empty, empty battery box that I just had in my thing. Holds double A batteries. Let me try writing upside down here. And as you see, what's on this side? Just a little squiggle. Let's try the amazing. I actually never tried this before. Let's try the amazing upside down. Whoa, cool! <laughs> Amazed, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it does. It writes upside down. Does underwater the whole bit. So that's the Fisher Space Pen. Uh, what do I think about it? I think it's awesome. Uh, I I kind of carry this like if I'm going somewhere, I'm dressed nice. Uh, it's good to have a little pen on in case you need it. I clip this to my pocket, you know, whatever kind of pants I'm wearing. Um, but I guess it's cool to have. Uh, it's a cool novelty item. Uh, it's a very nice pen. Of course, Fisher makes uh, plenty of other pens that are even nicer than this. Uh, the only thing I've heard, the only thing that I've heard bad about this pen, and this was a, a couple rare occasions, someone said that um, uh, they store it for a long period of time and that a little glob of ink kind of formed at the tip. I don't know if it leaked out or whatever it was, but uh, then when they wrote their initial time they touched it to paper, it left a little glob of ink that, you know, if you touched it, it would smear. But I haven't have, I have, have, have not had it uh, happen to me before. But uh, anyway, that's the Fisher Space Pen. If, you're, uh, if you find this to be a pretty neat item, like I said, like 15 bucks. Um, and if you're into pens, it's a must-have, I guess. Uh, but then again, if you're into pens, you probably already own this. So, <laughs> uh, thanks for bearing with me on this one. Uh, but like I said, I just did, did want to sh uh, show you this. So, that's all. <laughs> thanks, guys. Take care.